One of Washington's most ambitious climate protection projects is underway on dirt water. Now, eelgrass can remove triple the amount of carbon from our atmosphere as a regular force, but only if we replant enough of it in time. Fox 13's Lauren Donovan is introducing us to an experimental robot that the DNR thinks could turn the tide. The water looks beautiful, the sky looks beautiful, but underneath we have a crisis that has been growing for a long, long time. In our Puget Sound, we have lost over 60% of our kelp and eelgrass. Crabs scurry through it, salmon and other sea creatures call it home. Eelgrass helps them live, but it also helps us here on land breathe. These meadows act as engines of the ocean, removing carbon to produce oxygen. Actually, in the South Sound, we've lost 90%. The glassy surface at Johama State Park in Long Branch only gives you a glimpse. To fully understand the decline, you've got to go under. And you could actually see the huge areas where we've lost that critical um, kelp and eelgrass. In her seven years as public lands commissioner, Hillary Franz has championed seagrass restoration efforts. But never before has she suited up to witness the loss herself. We have just dropped anchor in some tide lens. We're actually going to hop into the water, wetsuit and all, and see the robot in action for ourselves. And we're not alone. Joining us is the DNR aquatic team's potential new recruit, Grasshopper. It's a mechanized seagrass shoot planting system. Operated by Game Controller, it's one of the first robots in the world to plant coral, seagrass shoots, and seagrass seeds. Created by ReefGen, CEO Chris Oaks says this ROV has the capability of planting at 10 to 100 times the rate of even the most skilled diver. Diving is really expensive and in many cases not even allowed. And so that has limited the restoration effort to um, shallow water. So the tide has to be low, it needs to be daylight and all that. And so this now unlocks the opportunity to plant well after the tides come back in. The robot has multiple cameras on it that send the signal back up to the computer and we are able to control it and go deeper and longer than divers. We're going to um, load up the collected shoots. We're going to attach them to some um, little metal spikes, and then we'll load those into the robot. We'll put the robot in the water and send it off on its way. We call it a grasshopper because it will plant and then kind of hop scoot to a, a, a couple um, centimeters forward and then plant again and then hop scoot and plant again. ReefGen has put similar ROVs to work off the coast of Catalina Island in Hawaii and Indonesia. And now Washington State DNR is testing it out for free as part of an experimental program. It's a process not unsimilar to how houseplant lovers propagate their clippings at home. Oh, there's two in there because when they plant, they talk to each other. And if they're all alone, they're not as healthy. But when they plant two, they talk to each other. They're not all, it's kind of like humans. <laughs> Election day is almost here. In a few short months, Hillary Franz will no longer be the commissioner of public lands. So what's the assurance this pilot program actually becomes state practice? It was very strategic in the work that I did on this. We passed a bill to restore 10,000 acres of kelp and eel grass meadows in the Puget Sound. And now it's written into law. Franz tells me even if her successor is not interested in this kind of restoration work, the statewide kelp and eelgrass plan signed into law in 2022 makes these efforts a statutory requirement. We will make sure that it continues to be an investment. Speaking of which, this endeavor is largely funded by the controversial Climate Commitment Act. Many drivers detest it for raising gas prices. There's even an initiative on the ballot to repeal it. We've had a forest health crisis uplands that's been growing for a long time. We have the same forest health crisis under our waters in our submerged forests. My hope is people will now understand the urgency and stay committed to it. Reporting in Long Branch, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.